There is an industry here in America that wants to lock you up for as long as it can. The more people it can warehouse in cages, the more money it makes. And which private prison company made 1.7 billion last year alone? CCA, or Corrections Corporation of America, is the largest for-profit prison operator in the United States and currently has around 90,000 privatized prison beds in around 20 states. They get paid per day, per inmate at their facility. What this does is it provides an incentive for them to maximize the number of people incarcerated in their for-profit prisons. It's like the hotel industry. The hotel industry wants to keep their beds full as much as possible because it means more revenue. Same thing for the private prison companies. About half the people in American prisons are in for nonviolent offenses, and we have more people in prison than any country in the world. CCA has a vested interest in mass incarceration because that's how it generates its revenue. It's how it makes money for its shareholders and corporate executives. Now that states across the country have budget problems, CCA is masquerading as the solution by offering to buy all their prisons. CCA and other private prison companies uh, say that they can save money because they know that's what politicians and policymakers want to hear. Some studies, including a 2010 Arizona State Auditor Report, found that private prisons actually cost more than public prisons once all the corresponding factors are, uh, are considered. Even worse, CCA's proposed contract with 48 states would guarantee a 90% occupancy rate for 20 years. How could a state guarantee that? by making sure harsh laws are passed. CCA has spent nearly $19 million lobbying federal officials on a host of issues. It has put millions more into state and federal elections, and it works with ALEC, a group that pushes pro-corporate legislation. ALEC wrote more than 85 bills to promote prison privatization and increase sentences. One of these bills was Arizona's controversial SB 1070 the law allowing police to stop someone for looking Hispanic and detaining them if they weren't carrying proper papers. This law was almost word for word as Alec wrote it. And you thought that was all about keeping immigrants out. Nope, it's about locking immigrants up. This is a moral and ethical issue that we should not be locking people up so that companies can generate profit.